All right, well, let's follow that up with some good news for everybody, because now on your feed at four, we have a happy pup date for you. Yeah, uh, th this is a story I'm sure many of you remember from a few weeks ago. Uh, we told you about dozens of beagles that were found in a home. It was a hoarding incident, and authorities really weren't sure how they were going to move the ball forward on this. Well, now we can tell you those dogs are about to go up for adoption. Our Emma Henderson joins us now with details on how you might be able to add one of these beagles to your family. Emma, good afternoon. That's right. It's a very exciting update, especially when we didn't know what was going to happen to these dogs. So 27 of them are at the Friendship Animal Protection League in Elyria right now, and more will be joining. Some will be going up for adoption as soon as tomorrow, with most being available this weekend. Those beagles were involved in a hoarding case in a Lakewood home. They were removed and have been waiting for their previous owner's court date. That's when they were turned over to the shelter and now they're being treated and headed to new homes. The shelter's executive director says if you're interested in adopting one of the beagles, patience is going to be key because they were used to their cramped surroundings and will likely need to be housebroken. But they're already starting to get used to having more space in that Elyria shelter. While they were awaiting uh, the case, those beagles spent three weeks at a shelter that's literally equipped to handle seven dogs. Um, so having 41 dogs in a shelter equipped for seven is very, very difficult. Now, despite the cramped quarters at the Lakewood shelter, Willie says they were well taken care of during that time. And if you're interested in helping but not quite ready to take home the responsibility of a dog, the Friendship Animal Protective League is always accepting donations. Jay, oh. Betsy. So what you don't know is that Emma has been glowing as she's walking through the newsroom. <laughs> it's just such a happy update. Because you got to do a happy story and yes. you love animals so I much. I do, I do. It was a great update to fun. get to see them in person. We love dogs. I, yes. I, I, how can you not? But exactly. And all dogs are beautiful in their own way. But will you just look, look at, the at that face? I know. How could you not love that? That is one. You just would never be able to say no to that. I, I'm exactly. afraid if I were to go there and look at these animal right. animals, I would probably it's leave. It's the way they dogs. look at you. If if it wasn't for work, I would <laughs> know probably I'm a come home with one. So yes, it's probably good I was there for work. I yeah. think that the, I hope anyhow, I know Northeast Ohio and how much it loves animals. I have a strong suspicion that all of these dogs are going to be in wonderful homes soon. I hope so. That's the hope. I hope wonderful. so. Emma, thank <laughs> you so much.